Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is a quick video on chalk. Now I did a video a day or so ago on using um, oil pastels and I will link that down below. And at the end of the video, you can click a thumbnail to bring you there. Um, so what we're going to do today though, is I'm going to show you some chalk stuff. Now I'm a mixed media artist, so I love mixing everything. <laughs> in my mixed media. So I'm going to show you a few uh, ways that you can, you know, mix in chalk with, or these are called uh, chalk pastels, I should say. Um, and then I have these, which <clears throat> I, I love these. And I accidentally dropped this one, but I still use it so much. Um, it's by Pebbles. I got this at AC Moore um, and they have metallic cream, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, I love these. I love these. I love these. These are bright. They're wonderful. I love using these on when I draw um, like folklore girls or whatever kind of girls, odd girls that I draw. I like using them as a little eyeshadow or blush or that kind of thing. So I'll show you those, these in a momento. So let me show you these. So this is just a uh, gessoed piece of uh art journal page, but you can use, you know, you can use your printer paper or watercolor. I'll show you on some watercolor what I did. Um, but this is just technique. I'm not doing a page. Uh, I am going to though, uh, a couple of you emailed me and said, you know, would you use all these in your mixed media and do a page? And I will, uh, probably this weekend or next week. So I just have water and a brush. I'm going to set that there. I'm going to take, I love this. This comes in the, um, pebbles chalk set with all these little cottony balls. I love it, but you know, you could pick them up too. So that's what we'll do. Um, let's see. I love purple's my favorite. So I'm just going to take this and let's say I wanted to start a background, right? Um, or you can use this as hair or a dress or whatever you want. You can use this over stencils. Um, let me see, maybe I can show you real quick. We'll do the smaller punchinella. So if I do this and I lay this down and I go over it and I'm just doing this just a little bit. Now I'll go in with my finger a little bit. You can use a cotton ball, a makeup sponge, um, whatever you have. But see what happens is, and I'll just, and then, I mean, you have, you know, some delicious purple fingers, but you see, you, you get that. Um, so you can use this as with stencils as well, but I'm just kind of going to show you a few tips here. Now to seal this, people have told me they have used, um, hairspray, you know, uh, aerosol hairspray. I have, uh, spectra fix for my chalk, my, um, regular pastels. Uh, you can use, you know, I, I have folk art spray, deco art has spray. So there's a lot of things that you can use, uh, water-based varnish, that type of thing. Know that if you use a brush to seal this, um, it's going to smear because it is basically chalk. Uh, so that's why I suggest a spray. Now, if you're not going to use stencils and you're going to use this as a background, let me show you a few cool things. So I'm just going to... Maybe we'll just stick with purple. You see, I'm just kind of scribbling on there. Let's do, let's do a yellow, shall we? Let's do this yellow. Come here, baby. And I also have scraped off everything else. So we'll just kind of do like that. And let me show you the one. So I'm going to wet my brush, just water. I'm going to you know, kind of give it a dab off, not no big deal. And we'll do with this one since, you know, watch what happens. This is the chalk. This matter of fact is from Michael's, I believe. I'll show you the box. So you can use a coupon and get it very, very cheap, or you can go on Blitzy and find um, chalk pastels as well. My Blitzy link is down below. If you want to go check out Blitzy, it has every craft that you could possibly want. And they're having big sales right now. So even if you just go sign up so you can get notified of sales, but look at this, it's like, it's like watercolor almost, but obviously when it dries, it's not going to be, um, you know, as permanent as we want it. It's going to lift again. So what I like to do, 
dry my brush, I like to go into my old friend Mod Podge Matte, or you could use Mod Podge paper, it, you know, whatever you have, because I know there's many, but this is just your normal Mod Podge Matte. And I'm going to go in and look. And I'll show you the difference once they're drawing. Okay, so the, we could do this as a background. We could use this as a, you know, whatever. I just want to show you what this does. This is just Mod Podge Matte. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry. Now I'm going to rinse this. Now you don't have to waste this because um, we can even go in with our Punchinella again with this. And it's going to act like a paint. Right, so I'm just going to like get that extra off my brush. And lift it up and then, you know, leave that dry. So that's going to be fun. So then we'll just rinse our brush off. Okay. Now let's say, you know, we're going to see what that's like. Uh, we have some yellow here. Well, what are we going to do with the yellow? We could do the same thing. We can use the water. We can use the Mod Podge mat. Let's use just our brush with a little water on it. Look at that. just a little bit of water. Now let's, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to. So let's take our purple again, because I'm just loving on the purple. Oh, I do like that green. Let me see. Let me use this green maybe. Come here, green. I hate getting these out to give me the chills. Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's just say we're doing this, like, oh, we're gonna color. And of course you can smudge out with your finger and you get that great chalk. You see that like you still see some of that texture in there or let's do it on here i'm just gonna do a scribble take my part of my makeup sponge not wet not anything this is all dry and look you can buff it look at that so these are great to layer because you can you know they're translucent you can see through it um so these are just a few things to try out uh, you know, with your chalk set, like I said, you can get these five below has these, uh, like I said, this is 36 pieces. Let me show you the, and it's artist loft. So, I mean, come on, how much fun that you can have with these very inexpensively. And I'm going to let that dry real quick. So let me show you, these are delicious as well. And like I said, they come with a little, we, excuse me, but we call these roach clips. I don't know what they're called. They're called little clampy things is I guess what I would say. And you just go in and like, for instance, if I was going to do some, I don't know, eyeshadow or something, um, I would go in with, you know, on my dolls that I do when I do the bigger ones, you know, and you just go in and you do it, do it, do it, get some white, you know, to kind of make it a little lighter or a little black and you see they blend just the same you know and I just clean these off I wipe them on my pants or whatever <laughs> whatever I have going there let's do this pretty blue color and you see and you just kind of blend it out so I, I love these 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 are uh, one of my favorite things. Let me show you the metallic ones. These are cream. And again, these are from Pebbles. Come on, baby, open for a moment. All right, and you can see. Usually they come with these little things, but I lose everything and I'm a mess. So they're cream and they go on. Let's just turn this. We'll just do one here. Okay. So this has some purple, so that's what I'll do and it's like um creamy i guess this is what it is but see how we can just add them on you can use this this comes with it with all the little ball things and it's just so soft and smooth and i mean there you go then you can go ahead and work on top i'll do a little bit on here Let's do some, I guess we're going to do purple because that's what I have on here. Although this red is 
all right, let me just do some red. Obviously, I love the red because I've been using the red there. So we'll just go in and do a little dipple do ya. Look, oh, look at this. Look how opaque. So imagine using this in your mixed media with stencils. And I can use them with stencils as well. My dog's being weird out there. I'm not real sure. Let's do it. Let's do it on here. We'll do it on here. Just to show you the layering. I mean. And then I just do this. Or like I said, you could do your finger. You know, whatever you like. And you could do it as dark as you want. I just want you guys to see. But all it layers. So look how cool, right? So stencils and all that kind of stuff and these beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, like I said, I'll use all these in a mixed media uh, canvas or something when I do it. But like this yellow, I mean, I can go in here and make this a little uh, shade. Do you know what I mean? Or whatever. It doesn't matter. So, okay. I'll sit here and play all day and you know what I need to see all that. But I will show you what those chalk ones are like now that they're drawing. You see why nothing lasts with me? I'm like a tornado. Just go on the way you're supposed to please. Oh, just okay, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't. Alright, let me see if I'll give this because this one's gonna take a little bit longer than this one. Remember, this is just water and this is Mod Podge. Mod Podge Mad. I'm sorry if I still sound stuffy and but I'm just going to show you. And what I love, you can see here very quickly, um, using the metallic and putting it on uh, the chalky bits, because you can get these at AC Moore, Michaels and that as well. They're from Pebbles, uh, like I said, Blitzy, um, and they have different kind of palettes. Like you can get all pastels, uh, you know, regular colors, metallic, they have a bunch of different palettes. Um, but you can see the difference. Like here I did the Punchinella. Um, and you can see the dark, you know what I mean? That collected. I dig this. I love it. It's almost like, um, I've been watching too much of the British baking show. Cause I'm gonna say it almost reminds me of a honeycomb type thing. Okay. But here you can see, you know, with the cream over the chalk, it's more separated. So you get different looks. Now, let me see. I want to make sure they're, they're dry. So, oh yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put the lid on here because I will end up, I went through another one of these. I, I could, I think I might drink this stuff in my sleep because I love it so much. Okay. So now I'm going to take, what should I do? Oh, my stomach's growling. I'm sorry. Okay. <coughs> Let's take this and we'll take the clean side and I'll do this one first and I'm going to go over it. I'm going to pull it down. It is not moving. Look at this. And look, look at that. Now, because I love mixed media and I do mixed media and, you know, all that kind of good fun stuff, these texture things don't bother me. These are from, obviously, from the um, brush. You know what I mean? So, of course, you can, you, you know, you, you do your thing and you don't have to have it that way. Using it in mixed media, I love it because it just adds, you know, more dimension and that kind of stuff. Now, this is the chalk with the water. And you can see it's pulling out and you can see it lifts. But let me tell you, as I'm doing this, right, it's lifting it, but it's also blending it on the paper. So you, you then can go ahead and build on top of here if you want. Do you know what I mean? These are so much fun and I think they're passed over a lot because people don't fully understand what you can do with them. Um, and these, this is probably just the tip of the iceberg, as they say, uh, of what you can do. But I, you know, I love it. I, the more 
stuff I can put in my mixed media and use in different ways, the, you know, the uh, happier I am. Now, let's see. Look, look at this. Now that makes it and I can layer on top and look how cool. And that's just me doing the chalk. I could blend this out if I want. Um, I could take more Mod Podge and, you know, blend it. I could do whatever I want. And that just adds a cast to it. Let's see. Look, green too. All of the colors in the world. Look at the fun. Oh, I could sit here and just scribble all day. So I hope that this helped you guys out and that you guys um, maybe have these sitting around or have seen them or went to Five Below or your local store or even bought online. Um, like I said, check out Blitzy. They have everything there. Stamps and die cuts and chalk and paints and paintbrushes and knitting and sewing and uh, clay and oh, the deliciousness. Um, but these are so inexpensive and you can see that you can have a lot of fun. And I'm always an advocate for if you have kids, you sit down with these and if, you know what I mean, they break or whatever, you know, they're not, they're not ruined and um, the kids can have fun too. And, you know, Mod Podge is uh, a lot of fun and they also have kid Mod Podge, by the way, that's washable. Uh, and so that's a great thing to use. I'll have to see if I have one. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Uh, with it because it's it's fantastic so you can use that with this as well with the kids have a blast and um yeah so that is it so as always please be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting please share me around uh i'd appreciate it greatly and if you just found me and would like to be subscribed to me click the subscribe button down below and that little notification bell next to it so you can get notified when i upload i love you guys so very much and i just I just appreciate each one of you. So I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.